Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Like one of the greatest quests in any game. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Stefan in my head. Mm, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Wait, before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. <laughs> what have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? <laughs> oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but... You can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. <laughs> and if the bailiff Just or someone bit. else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. <laughs> How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. <laughs> yeah, all right, but I can't guarantee the result. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's okay, I'm gonna that. that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. Wait, should I have something else on? Yeah, I think this one's probably better. I'm all dirty, though. That's the problem. I gotta repair my stuff, too. Uh, let's take off the padded. There we go. That looks a little better. I'm coming. All right, but you got you, you got you flowers.
<laughs> I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you know it. <gasps> Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. Animals. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. Looks like Clint Howard. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles a manus suas. <clears throat> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, hmm. you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious. Curious which one of them will puke first. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. I'm negative on this one. Um, begin sermon confidently. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, is a cheek. They like that. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But... That power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> it is the corruption of God's <laughs> pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, fires, Floods and other catastrophes. And it is all due to um, <clears throat> the corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Mm, we'll do harshly. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, Tartice. while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. 
Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates! Away with them! We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. Besides the prelates... God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Oi! All honour to Godwin! Let him drink like one of us! <laughs> that is all I heard in Prague. Amen. That was somewhat successful. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he tongue. Came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague, but he told it nicely. If I remember it, I failed this completely first time I played. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. I say gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, <laughs> what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He, look he said good. they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko, Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. <sighs> and anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. <laughs> if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Greatest quest. Ever. Love it. Okay. okay. Where's my horse now? Actually, I'm going to go to the scribe. I'm going to learn to read. Okay, so quests we got. I mean, that's our main quest. So we can do, I think we'll learn to read, and then we're going to... Ah, man. I don't see anything specifically saying it's a certain lot of time for that quest, is it? I don't know. Um... Hmm. 
How much? I got two savior. Sh no, wait. Stats. Oh, conspicuous. That's fine. Anywhere to wash myself off? Not sure. Let's go to the scribe. Wait, can I wash myself here? No, it's not one of them. Garlic, beetroot, asparagus. <laughs> Food on the fence post. Is this one? All right, let's go learn to read. And hopefully this doesn't mess with the wedding because I said there's a wedding, but I don't know. My respects to you. Uh, I've saved some coin. Could you teach me? Certainly, let's get started. did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple... Yes. Come back once you've worked your way through it. I read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? About a goose. There was something about some fellow and a goose. Ah, well, the main thing is you've managed to read the book. The rest is just practice. Only through a careful reading will you uncover the real meaning of the text. No book is written on a mere whim and without purpose. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read then? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. Uh, must be a different one. Even if it was all spelled right, I wouldn't know it. I don't know Latin. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Try that one. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, oops. Non uh, liquor parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. 
Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Nice. All right. I can read now. Okay, so we got the witch we can do. Um, I don't know if they have any other traders they have here. Let's see what you sell. God be with you. Trade? Good luck to you. Alright. Arrows. That one's, that one's five armor. Four. Save your sh ah, they're so expensive. Um Ninety-four for that, so probably not. Okay, so let's go get to the roan. We can drop that off, and then we can head to Ratai and uh, learn more at the mace. money do I have? I lost so much money. 336. I'm not playing dice with that guy. Is that a skill? Oh, I did get some drinking. I got a... Beer gets a 50%. The beer you get is 50% weaker and you drink more. Under the influence of alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less. One you get is fifty percent weaker. Um fine. Horsemanship. Heavy duty pony. Horses can carry more, but it's slower. Or can make it faster. It carries less weight. We're going to do more weight. I think we're going to do more weight. I know faster might be okay, but there is fast travel. So I think we might be okay with that. Uh, reading, we leveled up. All books are cheaper. When reading, you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Um... I think we'll do cheaper. So I have a hangover right now. So if I drink Marigold, right? Spells hangovers. Yeah, I'm done. No more hangover. that roan.
I'm just hoping that my horse comes with me. Once I get this, I don't remember what it was, so I'm hoping so. Otherwise, I gotta hoof it back to. Oh, shit's here. Turn it down. Jump over it. That's amazing. God be with you. And also with you. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about Farewell. that. I need to get the roan. God be with you. Uh, local groom? I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well... Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. What do I do? That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. Oh, there you are. Kissing off the horse. Roan. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. You're inside him. But how? Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I... Sing to him. You sing to him? What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. <laughs> I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vasha. Take care now. It's not our horse. These are the, I can buy. In the stable, maybe? Kind of like the old black horse. Big old pile of poo. Oh, 
Okay. Mount the Rhone. The heck is that? I like this horse, too. Where is it? Want me to sing? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. They graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is gray. Okay, can I fast travel to Tallenberg with it? Sweet. I just hope my horse is here waiting for me. Thank you, Henry. I tell her that we got it. was not in her room. Is she going to be in now? In here. The Lord save you. What do you need? My apologies, but could you tell me one more time what you I need you You said Precisely. It's a beautiful but you Wine? Thank you. I just Okay, so I must have to do it all at once.
This is on the Rhone. What? I was on the Rhone. Okay. the Rhone. I brought the Rhone, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. No, nothing. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. Ah, <laughs> here we go. You sing to him. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. What? My lady, I, I don't know if I... With your husband next so to you? So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there Ah... Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. Take care. So, Rat Tat, we need to get wine. Need to go there. Can't see my horse. It's not here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna have to go all the way back over there. If I get caught on my feet, I'm in trouble. Um, can I just take an hour nap and save. I wonder. <coughs> Yeah, sleep and save. Hours fine. Okay, so go back to Ujits. Get my horse. Okay, so I left him this way. Hi. Okay. Do I have anything on my horse? Some hide on that bludgeon. Okay, so we're gonna get to Rat Eye. Dreaky. Here's the wine we gotta get. Sassau. Still gonna try to get some loot from the dove coat. Be a long trip. Ignore it. Okay, we made it to town. A foe in town. What 
crime did I commit? Oh, I wonder if it's because I rode through town I didn't have my torch. Bet you that's it. I didn't have a torch. Need to eat. Oh man, it's past midnight already. We're gonna have to pay a fine here. Who's there? Don't move a finger. Surrender! You're under arrest for breaking the law. No. No one is allowed to creep around here without a light after dark. You were seen doing it, and you'll pay for it. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Ten? Yeah, we'll pay it. Oh, well. What can I do? Here you are. You've purged yourself before the law. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. You can be sure of that. Perfect. All right, so. Let's buy the wine and then we'll probably end it there for the night. Uh, the wine dude is here. Then what we can do... Dark at home? A torch will help. Your fields lie um, fallow. Here's a home. So we'll go back, I think, for... So we're having a stream tomorrow night. We, we are not going to be playing this game, unfortunately. Uh, we will be doing uh, a different game. We're going to try them different games on Fridays. We'll see how go how well that goes. Uh, oh, I gotta wait. They're not ready yet. And uh, yeah, so it should be far loan sales, kind of just a, a one streamer game. It's pretty short, and uh, then we'll continue this on Sunday. Um, I want to Jesus Christ be praised. Yeah, level up, do some more training with the mace, and. Uh, could finish this quest that we're working on with her but I'm yeah we'll try to get, get quest done I don't think there's anything too important maybe work on alchemy a little bit uh, lady Stephanie lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to and what would she like fine clothes from Venice exquisite spices from Arabia jewels from Germany wine good wine ah ah uh. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Can I get the wine elsewhere? Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage no one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Uh, what if I don't win? But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. God be with you. Oh. That's gonna suck. I lived like you did till Scalitz was burned to ashes. Floats, lie down. And, uh, so we can save. Yeah. What is my bow skill up to? Uh, it's on one. <laughs>
That's going to be interesting. Okay, so. Sleep and save. We're going to just sleep for an hour. And we're going to end it here for the night. Um, again, stream tomorrow night. It's going to be far. Own sales, I believe is the name of it. And uh, start at the same time as always, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we will uh, Sunday night continue with this game. Uh, but I'd just like to thank you all for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. If you're on Twitch, please give me a follow. I'll see you all next time.